Hey, it's Missa from the ANZ training team. In this video series, Lisa and I will be getting into why surface and looking through the surface family and finding out which surface might be right for you or your customers. Today, I'm getting into Surface Pro 7. Let's get into it. Right, let's start off with design and take a look around the device. First off, you can choose between two colors with the Pro 7, platinum or black, to suit your personal style. I have the Pro 7 in platinum, but black is a beautiful bold choice also. Either way you go with color, the Pro 7 has a beautiful 12.3 inch pixel sense display with a resolution of 2736 by 1824 and an aspect ratio of three by two. What do those numbers mean for you? A bunch of numbers that basically mean that when the Surface Pro 7 is in front of you, you see a beautiful touchscreen display that responds to you, whatever your input. And the aspect ratio means that when you have the Pro 7 in front of you in portrait mode, it looks like an A4 piece of paper for a reason. And you will usually find me using my Pro 7 like this with my Surface Pen writing notes. Though Pro 7 looks noticeably similar to Pro 6, there is one thing that you can physically see that's different. Pro 7 added USB-C, but you don't need to compromise because there's still a full size USB-A port as well. If we keep heading down the device, you'll see the magnetic surface connect port, which is secure, but pops right off in case you accidentally snag it. If you've had a Surface before, the kickstand will be familiar. And Surface Pro 7 is no different with a full friction kickstand that gives you the freedom to work the way you want. And hidden under this kickstand is a handy little micro SD card slot for storage on the go, but also quick file transfers as well. On the top left hand corner, we still have the headphone jack and a little under the surface, we have a five megapixel front facing camera, a rear facing eight megapixel camera, two dual front facing microphones and stereo speakers. These are ideal for video conferencing, but they're also ideal if you're out and about taking a photo, take a quick snap, and then you can draw and annotate straight on the photo. Useful in so many different scenarios. Complete the experience with the Surface Type Cover, Surface Pen, or Surface Arc Mouse, all in a rich choice of colors to suit your style, and Office 365, all sold separately, so don't forget them. There's even more choice with Pro 7 in terms of config, coming in a variety of different specs. In terms of RAM, there's options from 4 to 16 gigs. In terms of SSD, we have 128 to a terabyte of SSD, all with improved graphics and all with laptop class Intel Core processors, i3, i5 or i7. The Pro 7 made some changes to make things cooler and quieter for us. With fanless i3 and i5 versions, for example, but it also keeps you going all day with 10 and a half hours battery life. But if that's not enough juice for you, we've also added fast charging, which is my favorite feature now on the new Surface devices that gets you up to 80% of battery in under an hour and has saved me a bunch of times when I'm waiting at the airport before a long flight. All of this, of course, is powered by Windows 10 and do great work with Windows 10 and Surface together on the Surface Pro 7. Now that I've gone through Surface Pro 7, inside and out, I ask, why Surface Pro 7? Why this Surface out of anyone in the range or any other device on the market? Like you will see in this series, there is a Surface device in terms of form factor for everyone. But within that, there are also a variety of different specifications to suit the different type of power user, your customer, or even you might be. But also you can complete the package for you with the types of accessories that you decide. So there is really, truly a Surface device for everyone in the Surface family. So think about what's important to you or your customer. Yes, Pro 7 is known as that ultimate two-in-one device that lends itself to like the creatives, the artist types, but I'm not an artist. But I love the Pro 7 form factor because I am a writer, a visual learner, a doer, and the Pro 7 form factor lends itself to someone who is wanting to blend their analog and digital worlds. Transform something like writing in a notebook to writing in OneNote really opens up what you can do and how you can get your work done with Surface Pro 7. I really encourage you, if you want to take the leap and try and use a device that's a little bit different, Pro 7 won't let you down. But yes, it's not a traditional laptop. It's a little bit more than that in a sleek little package. But if you are the type of person that likes a traditional clamshell laptop, don't worry. 
we have videos on Surface Laptop 3, 13 and 15 inch coming soon. So comment down below, what do you think of the Surface Pro 7? And is this your favourite Surface device in the family? Also let us know what you want to see from the team in the next coming weeks. Remember to like and subscribe all our socials and keep up to date on Expert Zone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.